what better way to celebrate God's grace and goodness in the season of Christmas other than share love and kindness to the helpless in the society? Founder of the Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation, Rochef speaks on what the season represents. So this is a season of Christmas, season of giving and sharing. So it's not going to be proper that we all are at home and enjoying ourselves when we have people like this in the society. So the whole essence, because Christ is the essence and his coming was for love. And if you say you love, you'll be able to reach out. Because you cannot say you love and without giving. Love goes with giving. And for the internally displaced persons and coordinator of the camp, they express the appreciation and the gesture by the foundation and well-meaning Nigerians who have been of help to them. When a uh, hand is lent to you, it means you have a shoulder to lean on. She has been wonderful to us. She always makes sure that in the areas of feeding, closing, medication, and advocacy, she has been very, very uh, uh, strong in that area. We cannot thank Rohef enough. We cannot thank our beautiful daughter enough. We can only say that may God continue to grant her and her partners sound health, protection, promotion, and peace and progress. The camp coordinator, however, speaks on the negligence of government in providing amenities to improve the lives of the IDPs as they continue to live and depend on the generosity of kind-hearted Nigerians and non-governmental organizations. But as far as we IDPs in Abuja are concerned, yeah, nothing has been coming from the government side. I don't know why we are so stigmatized by the government. So I may use medium to appeal to Al Haj Muhammad Buhari to remember that up till now the IDPs in Abuja have no feeling that there is a government. And we appeal to our mother, the mother of the nation, Hajja Aisha Muhammad Buhari, to please use her future assured foundation to reach it, to reach out to us. The government is not really doing enough because most of the things that these people enjoy here are by individuals non-governmental organizations. I think God, what government to do is to also look for how to integrate them back into the society. If they can't go back to Bruno, they should be able to live amongst us. They can also look for how to empower them. Because I could, if you teach somebody how to fish, the best will be able to fish for himself. But for how long would you keep giving people? It's not sustainable. With thousands of displaced persons in the nation's capital, there is urgent need for government to do more in making sure that the lives of these people are still worth living.
Francia. Thank you. 